We are ready to begin step number seven. Step number seven says repeat steps two through six for the other side of the zipper and the two remaining pieces of fabric. Do not trim fabric if it looks uneven. I'm gonna go through all two through, uh, two through six steps on this one video, so it may be a little bit of a longer video, but you will get the general idea after you get started. The thing is, is do not trim extra fabric if it looks uneven. Your sides are not going to be even at this point, and that is 100% okay. Do not cut anything without having me check, um, because if you cut it, then you're kind of out of luck which kind of stinks because you're going to have to start over. Okay. So always check with me. So we're starting just at two. It says place zipper face down on the top of one of your outer pieces of fabric, right side of zipper to right side of outer fabric. Make sure the top of your zipper is even with the top edge of your fabric center zipper on fabric pin in place. This is where it's going to start to look a little confusing for you. We have the top edge of our remaining piece and we have our zipper. Now our zipper has fabric attached to us, to it, but that does not mean it's different than what we need to do. So it says right side of zipper to right side of fabric. The right side of your zipper has your other fabric on it and we're gonna center it on the top, okay? So this is going to look a little different and that is 100% okay. What does not change is we want to keep the top edge of our fabric in line with the top edge of our zipper. So I actually need to move this up a hair. Okay, so it is completely even across the top. We just have this extra fabric. Um, this is where a lot of my students may get confused. Um, and so I am more than happy to help you at this point. The first time I ever made one of these, I made it backwards. So I would rather help you than you get all the way done and realize it's incorrect. Okay, so we want to center our zipper on our fabric. The nice thing is, is your previous fabric from your last um, stitch like the last thing you sewed is already centered so you just need to line your fabric up you don't want it to be uneven like this okay you don't want to see it you want it hidden so let's go ahead and hide it and once again we're going to pin in through the top and down through the zipper this is giving me a little uneven okay so i'm going to pin all the way across the top this is step number two pinning our fabric to our zipper. Once again, it's gonna look different because we have already sewn one side. So I'm gonna pin all the way across the top. Step number three says, sew the zipper to the fabric at a quarter of an inch or edge of the presser foot. Using a basting stitch before moving on, check to make sure your zipper will open and close without getting caught. So I have it pinned. We're gonna go ahead and slide this out to a four. Don't forget that. And once again, we're gonna sew the exact same way. Like I said last time, between the edge and your zipper, right down the center, no back stitch, just a basting stitch. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Line the edge of my presser foot up with the edge of my zipper. I'm gonna turn my hand wheel till my needle goes down in my fabric. And we're gonna go ahead and begin taking our pins out as we go. Once again, this is a basting stitch, so we do not back stitch. Perfect, we're gonna take this out. We are going to trim our threads. Maybe I have a few extra threads going on in here. It's okay. I'm gonna find which one does not belong. There we go. So I sewed a straight line all the way down. Um, like I said, there is no back stitch, so if we need to take out, we can. We're gonna go ahead and open this up like we did last time and we wanna make sure we can open and close our zipper. Once again, our zipper opens and closes, which is perfect, okay? So we're ready to move on to step number four. Step number four states, place one piece of lining fabric on top of zipper slash outer fabric, right sides together with zipper sandwiched in between, pin, sew at a quarter of an inch, this time using a 2.5. So I'm gonna actually turn these threads off because they're in my way and it's gonna bother me. I know that this stitch is straight, okay? Just like last time, we know that it works. So we're just gonna sew directly on top of that with a 2.5. We're gonna back stitch at the beginning and the end with our lining. So once again, we're gonna take the right side of our lining fabric and put it down on the wrong side of our zipper, but we're gonna sandwich our zipper in between, okay? Um, once again, this looks a little confusing because we have our fabric already on here, 
but right side to right side. Okay, that's what's super important. Always right sides go together. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin my lining on top of my zipper. Once again, my zipper is sandwiched in between. So we do not see our zipper, okay? So make sure it's lined up side to side. My side over here is not perfectly lined up, but it matches on this side, so we're just gonna go with it and see. Once again, about four to five pins. And then we're gonna sew edge of the presser foot away. Um, 2.5, back stitch, beginning and end. All right, like last time, we know that the stitch is already here. Like I said, it's kind of hard to see, but we know that the stitch is already here and it's perfect. So we're gonna sew right on top of that stitch. We wanna make sure that our fabric is pulled completely flat. And then before we begin, like I said, it needs to be at a 2.5. So we're gonna slide this back to a 2.5. We're gonna line up our machine on our previous stitching. I'm gonna go ahead and take my first pin out because it is right in my way. I'm gonna lower my um, needle and then we are ready to begin. I'm going to sew all the way down on top of that previous stitch. Take out my pins before I get there. Back stitch. We're going to turn my needle until it goes up. We're going to trim off all of our threads. And then we're gonna get ready to move on to step five and six, which is ironing and top stitching. I have a thread somewhere. You're gonna have lots of threads on this. All right, this thread is random, but I'm gonna trim it off. All right, now we're gonna head up to our ironing board step six says uh, or step five says open up fabric so that the zipper is on one side and the two pieces of fabric are on the other so you're going to look and this is where your bag is going to start to look like a bag okay so we have two sides this is the left and this is the right um, we want to iron it because as you can tell there it looks very different this one is nice and flat and this one is not so we're going to take it up to our ironing board and iron it flat and then we'll bring it back to our machine and top stitch it so we're going to head up to our ironing board And we are going to go ahead and iron this flat. So just like we did last time, we are going to put our iron down and we're going to pull our fabric away from the zipper. It is no different than we did last time. The only thing that is different is we have extra fabric. Okay. So we want to give it a nice tug away. And make sure it's nice and pulled. And then we're going to flip it over to the other side. Once again, we want to pull our fabric away from the zipper because we want our zipper to easily open and close. And I'm gonna try out my zipper just to confirm. It opens and closes nice and neat. So we're gonna take this back to our machine and we're gonna top stitch it. And then we will be done with steps two through six, which we actually need to do twice, okay? So we are ready to top stitch. This is where it may get a little tricky because you have um, like extra room. If you want to open up your zipper and pull this out of the way, that one's already sewn. So we are just gonna sew edge of the presser foot away from the edge of our zipper, all the way down, um, 2.5. So make sure that's at 2.5 and back stitch at the beginning and the end. So we're gonna go ahead and begin. And we're just going to sew one straight line all the way down. And then we are done with steps two through seven for the second time.